guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ella and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 100 plus Christmas gift ideas so if you're interested keep watching and enjoy now onto the first category which is skincare slash beauty the first gift idea that I have here is a skincare fridge these were super trendy in 2020 but I still think they're really good to have especially if you have a good amount of skincare. You could ask for a gua sha or jade roller. These used to be really popular in 2020 and they still kind of are now. These could also go in your skincare fridge um, to make them really cold but I've heard a lot of great things about these tools. A bath board. I just think these are really aesthetic and if you like reading in the bath then it's a great purchase. Eyelash serum. I've never actually tried any brand of eyelash serum but I've heard a lot of great things about them. Any brand of skin cleanser, I personally use Cetaphil, but I know another brand called CeraVe, and there's probably heaps more out there, but those are just the most popular brands that I know of. Body scrubs, I know there are a lot of beauty places that sell these. There are scented ones, non-scented ones. There are just so many different options, and honestly, when I use mine, I feel so clean after getting out of the shower. Like, I feel so clean. Face masks. Face masks are a necessity. They're just so nice to put on, so relaxing, and they benefit your skin. So, if you've run out of your original ones, or you've never had any, go get some for Christmas. A bamboo toothbrush. This would be a great thing to ask for if you're wanting to be more environmentally friendly in the future. They are a little more expensive than normal toothbrushes, I think, but most things that are environmentally friendly are more expensive. I'm pretty sure they have different bristle strengths as well. So I have very sensitive gums and sensitive teeth. So I always go with the lowest one, but you can choose whichever. Skincare headbands. These can be really good because obviously they keep your hair back and they can be really cute as well. So if you're really into skincare or you want to grow your skincare collection, then a skincare headband will probably be a great gift. You could ask for some sort of beauty treatment, so getting your nails done, a spa day, getting your hair done or your makeup done, anything like that would just be a great day out. You could ask for a scalp massager. That just seems really relaxing and cool, so why not? If you're interested in makeup, you could ask for your favourite brand of makeup. A makeup or even just a toiletries bag to store your makeup in. Bath bombs. I know that a lot of places like Lush sell these. They're just really nice to have in the bath and they look super pretty. And sometimes bath bombs have ingredients in them that moisturize your skin or cleanse your skin. But they can be really, really good for your skin if you get them from the right places. A hair straightener and a hair curler. The next category is clothing. The first idea in this category is hoodies. Hoodies are always a great gift. Literally any type of clothing is always a great gift, but especially in America and other places, it's winter now, so that's a great present for winter time. Graphic tees. These are always an essential either for sleep or for going out in a clothing set. I just think these are super cute and it's definitely an interesting outfit to have. A pajama set. Again, these are just super cute and they're definitely a great Christmas present. A leather jacket. I just think this is really unique since not a lot of people have leather jackets i think especially teenagers a puffer jacket i think these are going to be really useful for winter again for people who live in america or other countries or if you're visiting somewhere that has snow then it would probably be useful for that nike air force ones i personally don't have these but i've heard a lot of great things about them doc martens again i don't have these but i've heard a lot of great things about them Cute reusable face masks. These are essential living in a pandemic, obviously, but having nice ones that will go with every outfit and a reusable will probably be a great Christmas gift. And the last idea in this category is bucket hats. The next category is exercise. You could ask for workout clothes, either expensive or non-expensive brands. It depends how much your parents are willing to pay or how much you're willing to pay for a gift for somebody else. A yoga mat, a time tracker water bottle. If I'm being honest here, I forget to drink water a lot. 
okay a lot so this would probably be really good for me since it does actually have the times listed like on the water bottle where you're supposed to drink a certain amount of water by a certain time throughout the day yeah if you're anything like me and you always forget to drink water even if it's not for working out you should definitely go get this water bottle so it'll probably really help you resistance bands but i'm pretty sure they basically just deepen or like enhance your workout protein powder i know that a lot of fitness people would love to get this as a gift because i think it can be really expensive depending on the brand a foam roller I know that a lot of dancers use these because it helps to stretch out and relax their muscles. The next category is spirituality. Crystals. Crystals are essential for anyone who is spiritual. I actually have crystals and I have an entire video based on my collection so you can go check that out. I'll link it up in the card. I also have a video about how to cleanse crystals if you're interested. Fancy jars or bottles. These don't have to be expensive. You can literally get them from really cheap stores. I think in America you guys call them call them like dollar stores, but we call them cheapy stores, or at least I do. And um, these can be to store water or herbs or just just anything, literally anything. It honestly doesn't matter. Books that are specifically based on spirituality. If you're just starting out with spirituality or witchcraft then books are your best friend. These could be crystal books, herb books, literally any book that can educate you about spirituality is amazing. Incense, again, if you're into the whole spiritual thing, then you can cleanse your space with incense. It's really useful for that. A cute incense holder. Candles. Essential oils. A lot of people just love these because they make their room or their house smell really great. But if you're spiritual, you can use them because of their different properties, like herbs. They all have different properties and they all mean different things. So if you look them up and you want to use them for that reason, then go for it. An essential oil diffuser. If you don't know what this is, it's basically just kind of like a device that you put water into and then you put a few drops of your essential oil into and then it basically creates and... It basically goes into the air and makes your house or just the room that you want it to be in. It makes your room smell really nice. Tarot or oracle cards. If you haven't seen these before or you don't know what I'm talking about, they're basically the things that you see in like witchy TV shows or whatever. And they basically say like, oh my god, I can tell you your future kind of thing. That's not what they actually are, but that's just kind of like a reference for you if you've seen any of those kind of movies. But they're basically ways of diving deep into your subconscious mind or talking to spirit guides or deities or any kind of entity and them telling you what you need to focus on or, like I said, your subconscious basically telling you what you need to focus on. And a geo candle. These just look super cool and that's literally the only reason I put it on this list. By the way, I'd be happy to make any spiritual related content that you guys would like. So if you have any ideas and if there's any specific spiritual videos or just videos in general that you would like me to make, then I can totally make them. Just comment them down below. The next category is room decor. A salt lamp. I have one in my room and it creates such a cool vibe in your room. Like... Obviously, it gives an orange tinge to your room, and for me, I personally really like that. The colour is just really calming to me, and I just love how my room looks when I have it on. A sunset lamp. I've seen these all over TikTok, and they just look super cool, so I just thought I'd add it in. Literally any type of mirror. These could be round mirrors, or rectangular mirrors, or square mirrors, or they could be funky, like geometric ones the different mirrors in your room can add so much to it and it can make it look really cool a bean bag a display rack neon signs these can really make your room pop cute or interesting rugs again these can really spice up your room or change the entire look of your room cute cushions the next category is technology this category is on the pricier side so just keep that in mind if you want to ask for any of these. The first idea in this category is a new phone, whether that be Samsung, Apple, or literally any other phone. 
a laptop or computer a camera this could either be for youtube if you're also a youtuber or for photography this is definitely quite a big investment but if you're really passionate about what you do then it'll be worth it editing software that you have to pay for i think the most common one that i've heard of is final cut pro um, i think that's like 300 dollars though a waterproof speaker i have one of these and i use it in the shower because i love listening to music in the shower or like youtube videos and it makes the sound a lot clearer than it would if you were just playing it off your phone a regular speaker an ipad or a tablet airpods airpod pros an alexa if you don't already have one any type of gaming console this could be an xbox a playstation a nintendo switch literally any gaming console video games for your gaming console a gaming keyboard and mouse a gaming headset controllers for your console a mini photo printer you can actually print things from your phone through these which i think is really cool a personal charging station i think these are really cool because you can have all your devices charging in the one place blue light glasses if you don't know what these are they're basically glasses that shield your eyes partly from screens i personally don't have a pair but i have heard lots of great things about them an aesthetic keyboard I know that some of these can be pretty expensive depending on the brand and the model of it. I've seen these all over YouTube and TikTok and they look super cute. It'll hopefully make your studying experience a lot better. A projector. This would be really good if you have a blank wall in your room and then you can get a projector and set it up so that it's facing that wall and then you can watch movies in your room without having a TV. A tripod. This would be useful if you do YouTube and you have to record something, obviously. A ring light. Again, if you do YouTube and you want to do sit down videos, this is a great thing to get. An electric lighter. I don't know, I just think these are really cool, so I thought I'd add it to the list. <laughs> a digital wall clock. A portable charger. A headphone stand. A GoPro. The next category is jewelry. Zodiac rings. I've seen these and they look so cute. Like they're petite and they're like cute and they have your zodiac sign on them and oh, I just love them. Zodiac constellation rings. I think these are super cute as well. I think they're both equally as cute as each other. I love these rings. They're so cute. A custom name necklace. A custom zodiac sign necklace. A jewelry organizer to keep all of your necklaces and everything all tidy and organized. Crystal wire wrapped rings. A ring dish so that you know where all of your rings are. Interesting sunglasses. I feel like these really make an outfit pop, you know, like they make the outfit interesting. And lastly, a pet portrait necklace. I feel like this is especially sweet if you've had a pet pass away recently. Or if you want to honor them, you know, and wear that necklace every day or wear it as much as you can. And I feel like it's just a really nice way to remember your pet. But even if your pet is still alive, you could still get a necklace to represent them. And the last category is extra. A phone case, an AirPod case, an iPad or tablet case, literally any type of plant. If you're a plant lover or if you're buying gifts for a plant lover, get them some plants. Macrame plant holders. I think these look really cool as room decor. Cute mugs, specifically Christmas themed. A five minute journal. I've literally seen these everywhere. They're super popular. A bullet journal, a regular journal, self-help books, novels, anything crochet like beanies, tote bags or anything else are always super cute. So you could always ask for them. An instrument like the keyboard, ukulele, guitar, etc flower vases, roller skates, a skateboard, a massage gun, and a tie-dye kit. These are always super fun to do with friends. Okay guys, so this brings us to the end of Vlogmas Day 3. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Day 4 of Vlogmas.